Hello, hello, hello. Today we are going to talk about simple chords. So this is a Hiluru tongue drum. It's being sold as a C drum. C. So, but before I get started, I want to talk about Amazon drums. Amazon drums are really tricky. They label it as a C drum, a D drum, and E drum. But most drums on Amazon that are made by China or the mass produced drums will be in C or D. But here's the confusing part right here. C doesn't mean that it's a C scale or D don't mean that it's a D scale. It's just the way how they made the drums and they label it with the stickers, with numbers. Okay. So, on most Amazon drums, on the C drum, the first note or the number one, where you have the stickers, the number one will be C. The number two will be D. Follow me so far? Okay. One is C, two is D, three is E. And on most Amazon drums, when I call it a D drum, the first note or the first sticker will be a D. Number two will be an E. Number three, will be an F. So it's not a true scale when it comes down, if you want to use music theory, that <laughs> a C drum and a D drum on Amazon are basically the same um, pentatonic scale. It's just kind of confusing. But anyway, what we're gonna to do today uh, most people that purchase these drums or the smaller drums like this, like these uh, Amazon drums. Well, I kept these drums because my daughter said that I bought this for her. Uh, the rest of my uh, Amazon drums I had donated to the, my local boys and girls club. So, and they're loving it. So, most of people that purchase these drums uh, wants to learn how to play and they will usually play melodies which is great and that's what i teach um to my uh, kids or to my students um to play melodies but today i want to do something a little bit different i want to play chords simple chords so let's not worry about the c drum or the d drum or the confusing scale that um amp that the, that amazon label it or the mass produced company label it. So, I want you to start with one, three, five. Same thing goes for the C drum or the D drum. Just go by the numbers. One, three, and five. Okay, this will be our first chord. So I'm gonna show you today the four chords. These are the four very simple chords. Let's call it chords rather than scales. Chords that will go with pretty much a lot of popular music. And you don't have to follow the actual layout or progression, you know, but I want to show it to you so you can understand a little bit about how the progression goes. And I'm sure that you can think of 20,000 songs with just using these four simple chords of progression. So one, three, five, you can go three, one, five, or one, five, three. So there is no proper way of creating a rhythm or a pattern. So you can play around with it so you can get a feel of it. So I'm just gonna play the first chord, which is one, three, and five. 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 One, three, and five.
three, and five. So I'm playing with my fingers, but you can play it with mallets if that's what that's what you want. That's what you pre or you, that's what you prefer. One. That's one three five. I'm gonna go back into playing with my hands on my fingers. So I'm just gonna play first so you guys can hear um, the chords that I'm going or the progression that I'm going to be showing you guys. So these are the four very simple chords. And these chords, you can use it to play different songs. You can go. So one, three, five, that's what we're going to start with. One. Okay, one, three, five, and the second one is going to be seven, five, two. Seven, five, two. So I'm gonna play these two progressions right now. One, three, five, seven, five, two. And then we can go to the next one right now, which will be one, three, six. One, three, six. Again, there's no right way of playing it. You come up with your own rhythm or your own pattern. You can do three, one, six, or one, six, three. So have fun playing it, exploring this few progressions. So the next one that we're gonna go with is gonna be six, one, four. Six, one, four. Or one six four or four six one. So we're gonna play all this. So I'm sure for this is gonna be uh, six one four. So the first pro the first progression one three five. Seven five two. One three six. One six four. Now we can do it slowly. faster. So these four chords can be used interchangeably. Um, you can start with 
six one or let's see three one six three one six seven five two four six one and back to three one six So you can play these chords or this progression, have fun, play around with it, come up with different um, progression. But these are the four of the simplest chords that applies to most songs on it. Well, I would say like popular music and on the tongue, on the tongue drum, um, especially with drums like this. Uh, well, actually, let me go back a little bit. Um, when it comes down to buying tongue drums, I do not recommend buying anything under 10 notes if you want to learn to play music or you want to play along with popular music. Yes, you can play along with popular music with uh, a drum with less notes, but it's just going to be a little bit harder because you, you're not gonna have all the notes that you may need for a song like the this is a, the uh, the um the bigger tongue on the two and this is the smaller tongue so it's just one octave higher so if you want to learn to play the tongue drum and i say get at least um 12 notes. I think 12 notes would be the minimum that I would recommend anyone, but 14 and 15 would be perfect. So you have two full octaves that you can play along with most popular music. Um, and the thing about this simple progressions, you can always add, ac <clears throat> excuse me, accent, like one, three, five. So you can tap like the smaller tongue just to give it a little bit of accent, a little bit of a, dr a dramatic progression. So yeah, I hope that um, you, hope you guys get something out of this video. So this is the basic, basic um, of a tongue drum when it comes down to progressions, uh, chords, progressions. Again, I was about to say I suck at making this, but I'm just going to keep everything as is. I'm not going to edit anything. So enjoy, you know, this is a fan, these are fantastic drums. Oh yeah. See that? My mind is all over. If you do want to get like a smaller drum, like this one here, which is at eight notes, it's great, but it's going to be hard to play along with popular music. But if you want for um, meditation purposes, this is perfect. This is... So yeah, so again, going back, if you want to learn to play music or want to play along with popular music, get anything um, minimum 11 notes and higher, because that will give you a lot more notes to play with. Same thing with, the, with this. This is one of my very first uh, miniature drum. This is a six inch, but I think this one here is uh, 11 notes. And it's great, I mean, for like traveling and it's light. And the interesting thing about Amazon is that this drum right here, the middle, well, most of the drums, the middle, um, I would call it like the root note, but here, the, um, the middle is a G. Yeah, it wouldn't make any sounds because it's too small. And the C, I think is right here. 
right here. Nope, right here. So anyway, guys, you guys have a wonderful day and bye till next time.